Are you having trouble getting your guiding down to reasonable levels? Well, stick around, find out what I did. Hi, welcome back. Uh, Wi-Fi guy here. Nice to see you again. Don't mind me, I'm just taking some dark frames before imaging tonight. So, my guiding seemed to be no better than from around 2.2 to 2.4 RMS every night. So I did some research on PHD2, see how I could maybe decrease. So I'm going to impart to you some wisdom I learned. So the first thing I learned was you're supposed to calibrate close to the intersection of the meridian and the celestial equator. I didn't know that, so I did that. Then I ran the guiding assistance for a full 20 minutes on my mount to see if that would tell me anything. Uh, first time I tried it, it told me that my polar alignment was out by 27 minutes, which surprised me because I did the three-point polar alignment in Nina and thought I was down to under a minute anyway, but apparently not. So I learned how to do the polar drift alignment in PHD2, tried that. Then I did the guiding assistant again. Still said I was off by 17 minutes, so I let it run anyway. Uh, clicked accept on the things that it told me I should do, but it told me my polar alignment was still out. So I did the polar drift alignment twice more. Each time it got a little smaller. So then I just up and tried to do a imaging session. Shot the California Nebula with four minute subs. So let's go through what I did and see if it even helped. And now just to interject one more thing, when you rotate your camera, I can do that now since I got my new dovetail mount and it doesn't hit the back, you have to run configuration again. It totally throws the guide camera out of whack. That should be painfully obvious to me, but it wasn't. It took me a while. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Also, check out my new shade I printed for my guide camera. Thanks, Narrowband Channel. If you haven't checked out his stuff, you better do it. The astrophotography community on YouTube is spot on.
Okay, to recap all the things I did to try and improve my guiding. First, I printed a shroud for my guide scope. It's supposed to increase contrast. I don't know if it actually did that, but we'll say it did. I'm sure it'll help with dew problems in the winter, so that's good. Calibrate the guiding uh, at the intersection of the meridian and the celestial pole. Third, spend quite a bit of time polar aligning. Uh, I used Nina's three point, PhD2 said that wasn't good enough, so I spent some time with PhD2 uh, polar drift alignment, got it down to as close as I could get. These three things helped me. I don't know if it'll help you, your mileage may vary, but I went from 2.3 to 4 RMS down to 1.4 to 5, so that's quite an improvement for me. Uh, even dropped lower once in a while, but it was pretty steady at 1.4 or so. Uh, I still have problems with my deck axis taking off every once in a while, so that's something I need to work on probably over the winter. So, hope this helped you. Let's go look at the pretty picture I took with all my testing and later on and clouds suck.